guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha and I am currently living in my 2006 Jeep Wrangler. Today's video is a very long overdue video that I should have made, but I didn't. And what it's going to be is a tour of my whole Jeep and where I have things, why I have it there, the whole nine yards. So let's get right into it. First things first, Probably the most used item that I have installed on my Jeep is my table. This is where I cook. This is, you know, where I make my coffee. This is where I just have things stored, let things dry out. I would recommend if you do plan on doing this to somehow figure out having a table of some sort that is very easily accessible because I find, as I said, it to be very convenient for many different reasons. Do have a video i will try to figure out how to link other videos somewhere up here letting you know how i did install this as i did have to do a couple little special modifications moving right along next up is my sleeping platform which i do want to let you know that i am a very small human being but <laughs> this is also a very small jeep the new jeeps the four doors the jk's the jl's they are a lot bigger than the TJs. So if you are a larger human, which most people are, maybe a four-door Jeep would be better. But just to show you, I do have plenty of room up here to sleep. And then I also have this over here. I can fully lay if I want to, but I am a side sleeper, so I sleep like this all the time. On my roll bars, I just have fairy lights that are run USB so I can use my power banks to light those up at night when I need a little bit more light. And then over here, I have, it's an Adams Polishes. It's meant for your seat organizer, but I use it up against my window. And this is basically just like a little nightstand so that I can keep all of my keys. I have my contacts in here. I also have my lip gloss, everything like that. So. As far as my sleeping platform, I do also have another video that I will try to figure out how to link. Down here is where I have all of my storage. This is my coffee bag. So I just have it easy, accessible because I make coffee every single morning unless I am traveling super early, but I still usually almost always make coffee. And then I just have like my journals and my journal supplies down here. And then I have my kettlebell so that I can do my workouts. As far as my storage, I keep everything in milk crates because they're super sturdy. And I honestly did not even plan this, that they are the perfect height to get underneath there. So, but I got super lucky and they fit perfectly. So in here is just basically a bunch of backup stuff. I have my first aid kit in here and then just backups of like bug spray, sunscreen, my prescriptions, batteries, just basic stuff like that, baby wipes. And then I also have my jump pack in here, my straightening iron that I've literally used once, sewing kit, an extra thing of headphones, extra pair of scissors, Sharpies. So this is just general storage of random stuff. This is my kitchen crate. And this I use, as I said, every single day because I cook almost every single day that I'm out here. But I use a infrared hot plate to do all my cooking and I use it with my EcoFlow, which I am charging via solar right now. I just have like plates in here, storage bowls that are collapsible, oil, vinegar, agave, my utensils. Uh, this is my camping pots and pans that collapse down into, and nest into one pot. Cutting board, seasoning, stuff like that. Uh, and then back here, up flat, this is my one person tent. I used this over the summer a few times because I get attacked by bugs. They are obsessed with me. I don't know what it is. So sometimes when I'm at certain campsites, like 
horse flies especially or just like so many gnats I will set this up and my chair fits in here and I can do work still and still be outside and not drive myself crazy because when I'm editing stuff like if I have bugs buzzing in my ear like I can't concentrate so I guess if I wanted to sleep outside I could this is not where I store my everyday clothes this is like my if I want to be a normal person clothes <laughs> Like I have a pair of jeans in here. I have some backup clothes as well. I have a backup um, like flannel jacket. I have a backup hoodie. But basically this is storage for clothes that I don't wear on a regular basis. This is a snowboarding bag. And the great thing about this is the underneath of it is tarped. So you can put, you know, wet stuff you need to, but therefore I don't worry about it getting wet and damaged because it's like have this protective bottom and it is meant for like snowboarding boots when they're wet but so look into snowboarding gear and that just slides back in there and what's nice also is that it has one of those pull handles so that I can just pull it up I have everything stored in bags because I have also found between crates and bags that's the best way to organize them. So this is just if I need to run into a public restroom and I want to wash my face or I want to brush my teeth, I can just grab this and run in with it and it has all of my toiletries in there. This is like a little medicine cabinet has you know ibuprofen and honestly I really don't like to take any of that stuff but I have it on hand just in case I do so this is basically just a little first aid kit slash medicine cabinet I guess this is where I keep all of my electronics and everything like that I'm actually gonna put my laptop back in here I have a nice camera like a DSLR never use it but it is in here and I have a Fuji camera also never use it I have a GoPro also never use it so I'll probably downsize some of my electronics but I do at least have them all in a protective bag just a Herschel book bag that has some padding for my laptop and is waterproof or water resistant whatever you want to call it this is my little hiking fanny pack lumbar. This just has my stuff ready to go for hiking. It has like an extra set of my keys, extra ID, granola bars, stuff like that. Just so if I want to go out and get a quick hike in, just grab this and be on my way. This is just a duffel bag that is empty that I keep rolled in there so when I go to the gym to take a shower I can just grab this and throw whatever it is that I need in there which would include this which is my shower bag so this is L.L. Bean I've had this literally since I was 10 years old it's monogrammed and everything like L.L. Bean true style but it has all my toiletries and this will hang so I can just grab and get whatever I need. So it has like Q-tips in it, it's waterproof, it has a bunch of compartments, another little mesh compartment. So this thing is awesome. As I said, I just have it packed up, ready to go. So when I need to run into Planet Fitness, I just throw this into that duffel bag along with you know, a change of clothes and my sneakers or whatever. And my lock, ready to go. And then this also is another snowboarding bag, but it's a like hiker snowboarding bag. So it's basically got all the good padding that you want when you want to go hiking, water bottle thing, straps, it has a whistle somewhere. But um, also, like I said, this is Burton. They just have really good quality stuff. I've had these forever and I think they 
they have lifetime warranties, as does Herschel. So that's always very promising. But this is something I would take hiking if I was going on like a long, like an all day hike where I wanted to bring extra water and lunch and everything like that, a jacket maybe. But this is also where I store all of my hiking stuff. As far as my hiking boots are in here. This is also just like ready to go with bug spray, sunscreen, all of that good stuff that you want if you just want to go out and get a hike in. So, and as I said, storage. So now, now you get to see me pack everything up and see how easy it is for me to get right back going on the road. Up next is my passenger side, which I don't know if you can tell, but I have no passenger seat. And the reason that is, is because my cooler was just going to be a pain to get in and out and to drain. It would have fit with the front seat in, but this way I have way more room and it just makes my life a lot easier. And after, like, I did a lot of research before coming out here, I watched a lot of YouTubers that are car campers, van lifers, everything like that. Uh, mostly all the car campers or SUV campers all took their front seats out eventually. So I was like, I'm gonna learn from your mistakes. It's a little windy, so I'm gonna let that pass so that I don't. The cooler that I have is the Ultralight 50. I'm the worst. Like, I should really come in here, like, knowing what I'm talking about. This is Arctic's newest cooler, though. The 52 Ultralight. I honestly, I was between, should I go for the fridge? I honestly am so glad that I went with the cooler. Because I think that I would be constantly, A, killing my battery. Because I would forget to unplug my power outlet. And B, just be worrying about, oh my god, I need this much power to get me through the day for my refrigerator. So this, I mean, right now it's freezing out, so it'll probably keep ice for like a week, but even in the summertime when it was at its hottest, it would keep ice at least, you know, a day and a half. And I don't like pack it out as well either. So you could probably make it a lot more efficient if you like really filled it up. But long story short, it's a great cooler. I got it on sale for 180, I think. So sometimes you can catch it on sale look for that but it is a great cooler and it is light like I am able to pick it up with a full thing of ice I am pretty strong but I will say that when I took my front seat out though it wasn't like oh here you have this level ground so I did build this little platform it's basically like a little like short like a coffee table essentially but I had to do a lot of mocking up because every single one of the legs is a different size and all I did was I went to Home Depot had them cut me a piece of plywood that was the a little bit bigger than the bottom of this cooler and then I got deck spindles and then all I did was cut them to size and drilled them in because they're super sturdy and also cheap really I want to build this out of metal. That's one of the projects that I have on my to-do list when I get home. So we'll see what happens. So when I'm camped, this is my duffel bag that has all of my everyday clothes in here. When I'm at a campsite like I am right now, it's up here on top of my cooler or sometimes I just throw it on top of my hard top up here. If I need to get into my cooler. And when I'm driving, it's just in the back. Up here is where I have my water storage, which I am low on, but tomorrow's moving day. So that's when I have to run my errands, get my water, groceries, blah, 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 blah. My favorite air freshener, it smells like pumpkins, pumpkin spice, and I use it year round. This is where my vinegar and water bottle goes when it's not back there. And my shower, which I use to take body washes. I don't ever wash my hair with a shower because I have a lot of hair. But to wash my face and also to wash dishes sometimes as well, too. So 
I got this at REI, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued it. So, sorry. And then, uh, up here, it's not very, could be better, but this is where I store all of my dirty clothes. This is my laundry bag. So, ideally, all my dirty clothes should be in this laundry bag, but. Uh, yeah. Also, mice hate laundry, so that's why I keep all my laundry stuff up there. So they hate like dryer sheets, the smell of them, everything like that. Hand sanitizer. Up here, I just have like my paper towels, which I use to clean. My towels. So this is my towel that I would use at like Planet Fitness. But then these are all the towels that I use to wash my face. I have a video about my morning routine and show you how I wash my face every morning. But these are just detailing towels from Adam's Polishes. They're super soft microfiber towels. So Underneath this platform is like that part of your house that you're not proud of. Like everybody, everybody has a part of their house in their apartment and this is mine. So I'll show it to you though. It's just a collection of stuff. I haven't, I need to figure out a better system down here. But for now, my face wash, I keep it here so that it's easy just to get a little pump out and to wash my face every morning and night. Like I said, this is, random stuff down here. My vinegar for my vinegar bottle. I have a spare one of these. God forbid something happens and I need to make a quick fix to my platform. I have those Ziploc bags, small ones. I accidentally bought a really big one. I usually, I don't try to buy like a huge thing because this is what happens, but yeah. Tin foil, the box. Anything cardboard, just forget about it. Like, it's not gonna happen. Cup of noodles, that's like dinner emergency. These are my garbage bags, a roll of them. I have usually, I should just put them here, I guess. Yeah. Usually I have a bunch of like grocery bags, but I am out, so then I have to resort to those actual ones. This holds my eggs. I'm just currently not eating eggs right now. I have a weird relationship with eggs, so we're not currently friends. But when we are, they can be stored in that so that they don't get crushed in my core. This is the top to my pour over that I never use anymore because it's a pain. Again, like, why do I have all this stuff? I'm just collecting. Um, tool, little mini toolkit has just like basic ratchets, screwdriver. I have a regular screwdriver that has a bunch of bits in here. Also has some strawberry jelly on there that I spilled the other day. Another little first aid kit because you can never be too safe. Really good shears. My front license plate, I took it off the other day because I hate having New York tags and I front and center so I took it off. Don't tell any fool. Ice scraper, which honestly I could have used this this morning, but luckily my frosters work really good. There's a lot of room for storage. That is the one thing I will say down here is that I have a lot of room for storage. Hopefully I will never need these, but I do have them just in case they get like really stuck traction they go underneath your tires but hopefully I'll never need those because I have a jeep but hopefully I don't jinx myself my makeup that I have used once since I've been out here extra tripod extension cord which I have used this a couple times when I have like my solar in a really good place and I don't want to move it but I need to use you know my hot plate 
chocolate or make coffee or whatever. Oh, that strawberry jelly. How did it get everywhere? These are my window nets, which I do recommend 100% having if you plan on doing this. And then I have just like some random dry food items. My breakfast hash browns, ready pasta. We'll have that for dinner actually. My compact rain jacket. As I said, there's so much storage room down here. This is a extra fan that I haven't, I haven't ran a fan in since August, I think, but I do have them. An extra ratchet that's bigger than that one if I need more leverage. Sunscreen. Keep your skin safe, my friends. Big storage Ziploc bags, which I use for like my cooler, so that's completely waterlogged. I also keep, I, every time I go to a new state, I try to grab a paper map because I hate downloading offline maps. They take up way too much space on my phone and like you never know where you're gonna be, so. But keep these in a Ziploc bag because if not, they'll be like soggy and then stuck to each other and then unusable. I was saying with the, just anything that's paper or cardboard, even if it's not super humid, like everything just gets like moist. So I hate that word. My salad toppers. Duct tape. Absolutely have duct tape. Again, store your toilet paper in a zipper bag. Same way. These are nylon straps. I have extra ones. I have these up here for overhead storage that I have created. The overhead compartment of my hardtop. I will show you that. One sec. We're almost done here, I swear. And then toe hook. As you can see, it's literally like a game of Tetris. Just getting everything back in there. So, as I said, not the most ideal, but it is what it is. As far as storage up here, well, my window covers, but I also usually have my solar stored up here. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I just store This is just like a Velcro strap that I use to secure the handle to my grab handle on the inside of my Jeep, just so if I stop short, it won't go sliding out. And then these get stored in the gap above it. And what's nice is Especially on really hot days, because this is not really insulated, it's just fiberglass. Um, it adds a protective layer of both heat, cold, and also the condensation. So, and just has them out of the way, which is nice. As you can see over here, these just have like a shopping bag and now my trash bags. I did take this handle off over here because as you can see it was rubbing my cooler. As far as this back area, do not judge me. My box of Pinot Noir. Box wine has come a long way, so don't judge me, all right? Good. And one of my Yeti cups, which I use to either drink wine or I use it to make ramen and soup in as well, so. But this is also where I store my EcoFlows. Dear EcoFlow, I wish you made these stack. They don't, but 
I make them stack. I keep them back here because A, I'm able to access them when, when I'm on my sleeping platform at night and I'm also able to charge them while I'm driving. So 